Producer Jerry Bruckheimer has confirmed that the Walt Disney Company and he are going to be rebooting the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise without superstar actor Johnny Depp. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. This is over at thatparkplace.com. And Bruckheimer did an interview with comicbook.com while he was discussing his upcoming film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, where he was asked whether Top Gun or Pirates of the Caribbean would make it back to the box office first. This is what he said. He said, it's hard to tell. You don't know. You really don't know. You don't know how they come together. You just don't know because the Top Gun, because with Top Gun, you have an actor who is iconic and brilliant and how many movies he does before he does Top Gun. I can't tell you. So a little bit of a slight there, I think, towards Johnny Depp too, only referring to Tom Cruise as the actor who is iconic and brilliant. I think Johnny Depp is just as iconic and brilliant as well. Potentially, Bruckheimer is having to hedge here because we have seen him uh, have words of praise for Johnny Depp in past interviews, as we'll get to. But potentially, this could be some kind of Disney-crafted PR that he can't describe Johnny Depp as iconic and brilliant because he's not returning to Pirates of the Caribbean, because this is what Bruckheimer went on to say. But we're going to reboot Pirates, so that is easier to put together because you don't have to wait for certain actors. So obviously, I think the implication there is certain actors would be Johnny Depp from uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Likely, they're not going to be bringing anyone. They're talking about a reboot here, so you're not going to have Orlando Bloom. You're not going to have Kira nightly uh you're not gonna have any of those actors from the pirates of the caribbean franchise uh, that spanned five films over the past what 2003 i think over the past two decades so that is what bruckheimer had to say this is uh big news um i think huge huge news they're rebooting pirates of the caribbean because previously bruckheimer kind of was hedging his bets he said they had two pirates of the caribbean films in the works uh, this is what he told the Times UK back in 2022. He said, yes, we're talking to Margot Robbie. Robbie, we are developing two pirate scripts, one with her, one without. The Margot Robbie Pirates of the Caribbean film was announced back in June 2020 with The Hollywood Reporter claiming it would be a, quote, female-fronted Pirates of the Caribbean for Disney. The outlet also stated it would be, quote, a wholly original story with new characters under the Pirates moniker. Robbie would confirm the film was in development in November 2020, telling Collider it would feature, quote, a lot of girl power. It's too early to talk about it, but I appreciate that you're psyched on the combo. She said, I love Christina. Obviously, I'm not a producer on Pirates, so I'll sit back and kind of wait for the process the way you're allowed to do as an actor, which is nice. She had, I don't have to stress about it just yet. We're really, really excited at the prospect of kind of adding a very key female element to that world. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean had female characters, prominent female characters. Obviously, Keira Knightley's character was one of the main characters in that entire franchise. Then they introduced uh, Caius Scudelero's character, who was the daughter of Captain Barbosa. So there are plenty of uh, female characters in Pirates of the Caribbean. So Margot Robbie was obviously just trying to push her identity to uh into the pirate film and using that as a way to like i guess leverage that film ridiculous uh but in november 2020 robbie informed vanity fair the project was not moving forward she said we had an idea and we were developing it for a while ages ago to have more of a female-led not totally female-led but just a different kind of story which we thought would have been really cool but i guess they don't want to do it However, Bruckheimer refuted this, telling Collider just a month later in December 2022, I think that the script will come forward at a certain point. We developed two different stories for Pirates and the other one's going forward first. So that's what we're working on to, uh, working on to try to get that one made. So obviously the Robbie film was being put on the back burner and this other film was going to get made. We got more details from Bruckheimer uh, in the, an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in December 2022. He says... Uh, they're all hard. I think we're getting very close on that one, too. We have a very good script. We developed two of them, the one with Margot Robbie and one with a younger cast. The Margot Robbie one needs a little more work. The younger cast one is close. Hopefully, we'll get both of them. He then reiterated that the Margot Robbie script was still on the board. He said, it's alive for me. It's alive for Disney. I'm sure she was disappointed it didn't go first, or maybe not because she's very busy. So it might be a blessing to push this a bit. We believe we'll get it made. It's a very strong story. As for whether Depp would return, this is what I mentioned earlier in the video, 
Bruckheimer punted on the question, indicated indicating it was up to the Walt Disney Company. He says, you have to ask them. I can't answer that question. I really don't know. I would love to have him in the movie. He's a friend, a terrific actor, and it's unfortunate that personal lives creep into everything we do. Uh, he also noted that uh, he would not kill off Jack Sparrow, saying, you can't. We tried to kill him. It didn't work. He gave a similar answer uh, to Deadline in February 2023 when he was asked this. Will you bring Johnny Depp back in Pirates? You've intimated that they're talking about that possibility. And he says, yeah, I think Johnny is another friend, an amazing artist. And again, you go through things in life that you wish you hadn't, but he's still a talented artist. So obviously he had high praise for Johnny Depp in the past. It's interesting that uh, he had that praise for Tom Cruise in this recent interview with comicbook.com, but not for Johnny Depp. It's, it's just kind of perplexing, right? Um, that he would that he would give this high praise for Depp previously. As for Depp, the last time he publicly addressed returning to the role was during his court case against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, uh, here in Virginia. He was asked by Heard's lawyer, Ben Rottenborn. He said, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Depp replied, that is true, Mr. Rottenborn. So I don't think Johnny Depp was interested in returning to Pirates of the Caribbean, but it is kind of interesting that uh, Bruckheimer seemingly is slighting him and obviously now confirming that Depp is not returning or at least seemingly confirming that, and that they are rebooting the entire franchise. As for what we can expect from this new film, we've heard some rumors. One of them was from Daniel RPK. He claimed the film would feature a black woman codenamed Anne, which many believe is a race swap for the um, Irish pirate uh, Anne Bonny, uh, famous actual historical figure. Uh, and they were going to race swap her, and she was going to be portrayed by actress uh, Ayo Idibiri. Um, but uh, after she dropped out of Marvel's Thunderbolts film, but we, that's just a rumor. No, haven't seen any other reporting on that aside from that rumor. And then we did see Scooper My Time to Shine Hello would add in this uh, post that he has since deleted. He posted this February 9 of this year, but it is now deleted. Found that out today when I was. Uh, going back into the articles I wrote back in back in February. But My Time to Shine Hello has deleted this post, but it said, I looked into it and Pirates of the Caribbean 6 will uh, be set in, set in part in Haiti and the female protagonist will be Haitian and they do want Johnny Depp to come back, just not as the lead. Well, it looks like Depp is not coming back and uh, they're completely rebooting. We'll see if the um, that, that scoop about the, the film taking place in Haiti and the female protagonist being Haitian turns out to be true. But uh, that is the latest update on Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I think that the franchise is pretty much dead without Johnny Depp. I just don't see it doing well in the, at the box office. I see it being a massive, massive flop, especially considering they're probably going to have to spend a significant amount of money uh, on this film, you have like usually they have like good special effects in those films, and then obviously with the ships and the boats and stuff like that, maybe maybe the technology has advanced so much that you can really do a good job with the CGI and all that stuff. But usually you have to get those those th those sets are quite expensive if you're building the the boats and things like that. So we'll see. Uh, already probably not off to a good start, not having Johnny Depp return. And then it's Disney. These people are creatively bankrupt and they don't really, then they haven't really been able to tell a good story in uh, at least half a decade, probably more. But uh, let me know what you guys make of Jerry Bruckheimer confirming that they are rebooting the Pirates of the Caribbean film. And it looks like Johnny Depp will not be returning to reprise his role as Jack Sparrow. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.